So the last thing that I want to try is a star. No idea if I can do it or not. Uh, start with 18 gauge. And then, you know how you draw a star, right? Let's try it down. Up. Down. Up. Oh, look, it's going to work. Probably. Maybe. I could measure this. But what am I, a sucker? I left longer wire at the end there, or the beginning, I should say. Oh, what a mess. You know what? Hang on. So I guess what you would do is measure this length and do the same. Each one of these would be the same, right? Um, Oh man, do I hate measuring. Uh, <laughs> that's all right. I'm going to cut that off. That's not good to me. Um, I'm going to leave extra so that I can use that to wrap around. And I'm going to use this as a template. It's not going to be perfect. That's not going to be long enough. And I think I like the 20 gauge better. For this particular size. Which is smaller than my nonsense a second ago. Let's try a bend there. And a bend somewhere here. This is still not precise. Shouldn't be too bad when I'm done here. Flatten that out. Oh, that's the way you could do that. And then back again. I think the corners need to be sharper. This should really be measured. Ah, I'm such a doofus. Um, so I think, though, what I want to do is keep going, but maybe twine that through a bit. Yeah, I'll need longer wire. But I think this is a good start. Um... Considering I don't know what I'm doing. Insufficient wire. Ding, ding, ding. Stars are hard. Did you know? freaking mess. Um, maybe if I keep going. <laughs> keep on making a mess. You figure stuff out. That's how I figure stuff out. Um, just keep trying. Just see what, see what happens. Yeah, stars for sure need to be more precise than I am being. But oh man, I hate precise. It's going through help. I don't think it does. I think it makes it worse. Uh, last one was under. We'll do this one over. What a bonkers mess I'm making. But it's only a little bit of wire. It's not a big, huge deal. Um, but you know what? The more you do, the it is does get easier. It's just like sketching. See, oh, do you know what? 
I did that sketch a bunch of times and then the average of the mess doesn't soak. Interesting. So, bring it around here one more time, I think. I'm just trying to alternate all overs and unders. And then I think if we use the intersections instead of the ends. Oh, that's better. That's a better spot. Use the intersections, not the points. To finish the ends. Yes, yes. So, like, better? <laughs> yeah, that's not super terrible anymore. It's a lot of wire, though. I don't think I would use the silver for it. Or not the, the nice silver, anyway. And I want to do that intersection. I think that's enough left over to just get in there. Get in there. So, okay. What do we have? A messy but serviceable star. That I don't hate. I don't hate it. Look at that. Kind of cute. Perseverance, baby. And also, this will be a, a, a lesson to my perfectionist folk. Um, if something isn't really the way you want it, don't throw it out unless it's complete garbage. Um, you can, I mean, that's not the worst star in the world. And it kind of started out as the worst star in the world. Um, so if we put a hook on that, that's not terrible. Steal a hook over here. Like, okay. Huh. All you need to do is be more precise than I am. Uh, I mean, you could also take a piece of wood and put in five nails and go around. Maybe ten nails. What five do? Well, now I need to try that. I'm not a jig person, but um, I got some nails here. And uh, I might try that because I think that's really cute. I like that it's squaggly. Yes, that's a word. Um, it's all silver. That'll show up really nice. Um, I've seen stars that they go across as well. So, like, there's a smaller um, star in the middle. But, I like it open. Oh, do you know what we could do? We could dangle a bead from the middle. That would be cute. Um, you could add beads along the sides. Oh, that would be a way to keep them the same. If you stuck one of these beads in each one. Right? It would be bigger. Bigger than this, but... That would be your center, and you could form your star from there. That would help. Um, and even if they weren't long, like you could just use smaller ones too, like round ones would even work if this was a smaller piece. Cool. Okay. I think that's enough. <laughs> enough nonsense for one day. Um, those are my cute little ornaments. And um, it's another, that's an ornament I did. I had them, I've got them for sale actually if anybody wants them. Let me know. Um, I'm stealing from my own work. So th I mean, that's a few different ways you can use wire to make some pretty little ornaments. I dig it. Cool. Happy holidays, everyone. 
Well, that's the end of my ornament series for 2017. And this little experiment of me not knowing where I'm going when I turn on the camera. I hope you like some of it. Uh, I know it was out of frame and I'm, I'm having some learning issues, the learning curve about the the video and how to best get set up for that. But uh, I did learn a lot about the videos while doing these videos and I will strive to be better for you guys. I hope you liked what you saw and that's it. You have a happy holidays for 2017 and I have a few more ideas for videos coming up in the next week or so. Thanks for watching and as always, stay creative. <music>